The Milwaukee Bucks have had a shaky start to the season, that and more in tonight's NBA recap video. The OKC Thunder were in a three-point game on the second half of a back-to-back -back going into the fourth quarter, and in the fourth quarter, they outscore the Hawks 39-18, to so they end up winning this one by 24. Chet Holmgren, he's taken that second-year leap. He has been a beast in all three games as the OKC Thunder are starting 3-0. They have so many pieces, but led by Chet, and then SGA, who had 30 five points and nearly a triple double all right the milwaukee bucks definitely had a disappointing year year one of Giannis and dame they were a first round exit obviously injuries injuries played a factor but you'd think that they'd come into this season with a chip on their shoulder especially early looking to make a statement game one they won against a 76ers team in philly with no paul george and no joel Embiid, and then they have their home opener their 10 point favorites the chicago bulls who are projected to be a lottery team a higher end lottery team team as well because they're not going to be that good this year and they lose by them they allow 133 points then they face the Brooklyn Nets who are kind of neck and neck with the Washington Wizards on who has the odds to have the worst record in the league and they lose that game as they were about double digit favorites tonight as well so a tough start to the season for the Bucks. the Pacers are also off to a slower start than maybe they would hope to given the circumstances of their games Tyrese Halliburton hit a circus shot to send this game into overtime but then Tyrese Maxey. He has been maybe not shooting the most efficient without Paul George and Joel Embiid, but it was only a matter of time before he caught fire. They were 0-2. You could tell they were desperate in this game, and when it got to OT, it was all Maxey. He had 45 points in the win. So the Pacers, they had a comeback win against the Pistons night one. Then they got absolutely blown out in Madison Square Garden by the Knicks, and then they lose an OT at home to the Sixers without Embiid and Paul George. That's your bounce back game from losing by about 30 points to the Knicks so not a great start for the Pacers either it's not too late obviously we're three games in just as far as expectations Chris Dunn has been a defensive menace and a lot of guys on this Clippers team are stepping up they're two and one they very well could be three and oh they lost an OT to the Suns but Norman Powell's balling Zubac is balling and James Harden with that extremely high usage rate he is balling as well with the assist and getting the buckets they're going to beat the Warriors Warriors take their first L of the season the Pelicans and Trailblazers played each other in Portland two nights in a row. Brandon Ingram hit a game winner a couple nights ago, and now the Trailblazers are going to come back. They're going to respond. They're going to win by 20 plus. Zion Williamson coming into the season with an illness. He's still not 100% himself yet. He's not clicking yet. That's the best from tonight's action.